Here I am again on the balcony at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, yesterday we took a trip into Penang all day long and I was struck by the fact that the Malaysians are all Muslim and the Chinese um, are all Buddhists and the Chinese control Penang while the Ma Malaysians control the rest of Malaysia. So what you see when you go around Malaysia is a whole lot of women in burqas, full burqas. And in fact, there are a lot of Saudi tourists, and the Saudis apparently make their women wear full black burqas. And so you'll, you'll see a guy in a tank top and um, biking shorts or surfing shorts with sandals, and he'll be walking along with a wife in a full black burqa who looks like literally like his shadow and two kids who if they're boys are dressed in you know tank tops and surfing shorts and if they're girls are dressed in little skirts and head scarves and the reason this is so amazing to me is not because I'm not used to differences in local custom but because it is so hot and humid here that the idea of these women who are wearing these full burkas is, I mean, they must be just so hot all the time. The other thing about Penang is that it is full of mosques and Buddhist temples and all kinds of uh, beautiful artifacts, most of which date not from very, very early, but date from when the British uh, occupied Malaysia, or I guess I shouldn't say occupied it, but when it was a, a British protectorate or colony or whatever it was. I'm sure there are fact errors here. Somebody will call me out, I'm sure. But there are, I mean, it, it's kind of amazing. I thought things would be very old, like they often are in India, but they're not. They're like from 1910, 1920, 1930. And I mean the temples, which, and Malaysia's only been independent since 1957. So this is their 50th year of independence. And apparently almost all of the investment and stuff has happened since independence. So one of our teachers, Willie Lim, who is Malaysian, tells us that when he left Malaysia, there was nothing here but rice paddies. And now it's all like million five condos and a tremendous amount of development because so much of Penang is beach and everybody, especially Chinese with money, who wants a second house, wants a beach house. So it's a, really, it's kind of fascinating.